We are in a home in Midtown Toronto. It's a single family home and it's a new build. It's a brand new, beautiful, modern space. The clients were very interested in uh, building a very contemporary space. The jumping off point for the project was their art collection. So they wanted something uber contemporary, very clean lined, you know, some hard edges, lots of black and white. And what was going to really bring in the story of the house and their ideas was going to be the collection of art, which is very colorful. The clients really love to cook, so that was the primary focus for the entire house, I would say. Everything sort of hinged on the success of the kitchen, thinking about making a small space really function, but also be really beautiful because the space is fundamentally open concept, being that it's a contemporary house. And we wanted to make sure that they had an area to store everything. When I say that they're chefs, they truly are probably the most chefy of any client we've had thus far, and they have a little bit of everything. They have lots of spices, they have tons of knives, they have many different accoutrements, uh, and they like to enjoy those things, but they don't want them on display. So we were very thoughtful in the planning process for the kitchen. The kitchen definitely hinged on a tension between soft and hard materials. So we designed it with a wraparound element that is in a really warm custom colored oak. And behind one of those custom areas is in fact another concealed pantry. So there's a lot of small spaces that are really special. You wouldn't know if you were just a visitor that they existed, but they're really beautiful functional elements for the home. And then juxtaposing that, we did clean matte countertops in porcelain. We went with a gray color scheme for the rest of the cabinetry and all of this sort of tied in to pull out the beautiful tones that were in our marble backsplash. Black is a huge important feature in this house. Fundamentally, because the art collection was such a crucial part of our design planning, we had always thought we would do white or off-white walls, but we needed something to counterpoint that. So these little hints of black throughout the house really add the clean line, the hard edge. We're very conscious of using light fixtures that are really sleek and clean. Given that we had made a significant investment in statement marble for our backsplash on our range area, we wanted to ensure that whatever illumination was over the island was beautiful and a statement, and again, bringing in those hints of black, but wasn't going to interfere too much with the visuals and sort of disappear, but the elements that are viewed are of interest. They're not your conventional selections. And I think we were successful. Hi, I'm Bona Kim from House & Home. We hope you're enjoying this house tour. We just want to take a quick minute to talk about our friends at ARD Outdoor. ARD offers the very best in patio furniture, outdoor accessories, and shade solutions. This spring, ARD Outdoor launches Vendôme's first Canadian flagship store located in Toronto. Originally from Spain, Vendôme is an indoor-outdoor furniture line that takes a fashion-forward, organic, and responsible approach to design. Inspired by nature, Von Dom creates sculptural pieces using sustainable and recycled materials. Offering unique additions to your space, visit the ARD Outdoor and Von Dom showrooms for furniture and accessories that make a statement. The wood-wearing fireplace was a must-have for my client. He just adores them. He likes the warmth, he likes the scent, he just likes the entire sort of feeling of having the wood burning. Nothing could beat that for him. But it was important to us that the fireplace itself fit well into the contemporary aesthetic. So we wrapped that in black matte porcelain and that allowed us a nice simple backdrop for the television to sort of recede into the background. That piece of art over the sofa was really the jumping off point for the entire construction process. It really dictated the kinds of colors that we were interested in using and knowing that rust, which is a prominent color in that piece of art, was gonna feature as our accent color, it allowed us to then build upon that. So white and black primarily, but then getting into the soft furnishings, you know, soft, really silky gray velvet for the sofa, a really nice sort of chenille velvet for the swivel chairs, and overall warm neutral color palette, again, counterpointed with these fantastic hits of black. When you enter the home, we were very thoughtful about planning from outside in. We custom made the door. We wanted to do something dark, but not completely black. Obviously there is a lot of black both outside and inside, but we were very sensitive about the selection of material for the door. And that sweeps open in an extra large size into this beautiful space that is primarily used as a dining area. We were 
consistent in that we wanted things to be clean lined and very sharp, but we added textural elements and curves wherever we could in the furnishings and in the other finishes in order to soften things. So as an example, we have a micro cement wall that adds a lot of texture. We've actually got a concealed door as part of the micro cement wall, which is really interesting. And that hides the more functional entry to the home for the family. And then we have a beautiful dining table that was totally custom designed for them. And that's in an asymmetrical shape and brings in color and movement and it's really the focal point of the room. The light fixture is an interesting question because knowing that we wanted to design around the collection of art, we had to make sure that whatever fixture we selected had a lot of presence but couldn't impact the view to the art. So we were very selective in what we chose finally. It's a very, very fine line fixture by Mui. It has beautiful sort of scintillating star-like lights at night. It adds just the perfect amount of mood lighting for the table, but it does not interfere at all with the art that's in the background. The mudroom is the functional entry for the home. And when you walk in, there's a lot of custom cabinetry. There's a bench. We've been thoughtful about where the clients can store all of their goods, as well as planning ahead for an eventual baby carriage, which will be put into use very soon. And then there's a special nook created as well for the dog to have a bed to sleep at night in her own comfortable space, as well as a custom dog shower. As you walk through from the dining room towards the living area and kitchen, there is a powder room and we've purposely selected dark materials for that space. We wanted it to be a bit of a jewel box, so we chose dark walls. We have beautiful pendants from Lee Broom. We custom made the vanity with an apron front made out of porcelain that ties in the colors that we've selected on the fireplace in the living room. And overall, we just really wanted a showstopper of a space and something really dramatic. The master suite was purposely chosen to be different from most of the rest of the house. The idea behind the master suite in particular was that it should be dark and dramatic, really moody and inviting, enveloping. And so for that reason, aside from the powder room, it's the only really dark area in the space. So we painted the walls and the ceiling in black. So what you see then is a spectacular chandelier beckoning you to come into the space. We've got wraparound windows once you get into the space and we've dressed those full coverage with beautiful linen drapes. And then the rest of the room is kind of dark and just sort of beckons you to come in and relax and be intimate. And that was really what we were trying to achieve. The interesting thing about black is that it serves very much like a white. So it's an excellent backdrop for art. And that was super important, as I mentioned before, in the planning for the whole space. They have an art collection. Their art collection evolves and revolves around the space. They do like to move things around to enjoy them in different areas but they wanted to be able to make sure that they could put anything on those walls and the black color scheme really does help with that. This bathroom is a showstopper. I don't think there's anything else you could say about it. It is really dramatic, it is different, it has unexpected elements and it really is the interplay of dark and light. There are little hints of wood, but for the most part, it's really a lot of black and a little bit of white that helps to bring the story together. We do have an area for soaking that was very important for both my clients and it's nestled in a little bay of beautiful natural light facing west, so it's fantastic. We've got a gorgeous shower that's wrapped in dark stone. We have really sophisticated little elements that are hidden amongst all of the dark that is creating the room. But what really brings it to life is an amazing asymmetrical circular mirror that intersects the vanity and is illuminated all the way around, which, you know, you never see. The impetus for that was actually through the clients, which was exciting. The pendants were important for a few reasons. It's sort of the jewelry for the space, for sure, but also recognizing, you know, that a beautiful woman lives here and she likes to be able to see herself as she gets ready in the morning. So we wanted to make sure when we're dealing with such a dark palette that we had proper illumination for everything. And those pendants just tied the whole thing together and they provide great light. I am so proud of this. If you'd asked me at the beginning how this was gonna look, I think this is pretty much exactly what we had set out to do. It's very clean lined, it's interesting, it fits in well in the neighborhood despite being quite different from the houses that are around it, and it serves the purpose, which is it's a perfect backdrop for this beautiful collection of art. And I think I can say that it is a great forever home for these fantastic clients we have. It was a wonderful journey with them and I think they feel that way too. It's just, it feels like home. <laughs>